we know that the planes are two dimensional entities with no thickness and can be extended to any size. These planes are imaginary surfaces. Do you know the reason for studying these physically non existing plane surfaces? The answer is simple. If a designer wants to design a machine, for example, a multi axis CNC machine, its components can be drawn easily in its simple positions. But he has also the duty to draw the machine elements at different positions. For example, if the tool head turns 30 degree upward and 45 degree rightward for a machining operation, it will be very difficult for the designer to draw the whole arrangement by simply imagining the positions. To simplify the task, the designer extracts only the adjoining surface and turns it in the required angle to obtain the overall idea of its position. These planes joining two surfaces may be of hexagon, pentagon, square, rhombus, rectangle, triangle, circle, etc. These adjoining surfaces are planes. To project these planes in an effective manner, the designer uses a method called orthographic projection of planes. In this lesson, we will see the orthographic projection of a plane and the positioning of various planes in detail. Now, consider a square lamina in the principal plane. When a lamina is parallel to the plane of projection, it will be perpendicular to the other plane. Thus, the view of the plane surface projected on the plane of projection gives the true shape of the lamina. The view of the plane surface perpendicular to the plane of projection will be a line and is called a line view. The view of the plane when it is inclined to the plane of projection is known as apparent shape of the plane. Now, let us solve a problem to understand the orthographic projection of a plane. A hexagonal plane of side 30 mm has an edge on the horizontal plane HP. The surface is inclined at 45 degree to the HP and perpendicular to the vertical plane VP. Draw its projections. Initially, we just saw the simple position of hexagon, but it is very difficult to recognize its inclined position. Hence, we should start with the simple position of the plane, that is, its true shape. With the help of its simple position, we can draw its inclined position to any plane. The first step is to obtain the true shape of hexagon in its simple position. Since it is given that one of its edges rests on HP, that is, initially the plane lies on the HP, the top view gives the true shape. Also, it is given that one of the edges rests on HP and its surface is perpendicular to VP. The hexagon can be drawn as shown with the side 30 mm. Now, the front view is obtained by the projector lines from the hexagon. Since the points A, F and E are not visible, they are given within a bracket. It is given that the surface is inclined 45 degrees to HP. The angle inclination will appear in the front view. Draw a line 45 degrees inclined to the HP. The points are marked in the inclined line by measuring the values from the front view. Now, connect the projector lines to meet with the locus lines from the top view. The line that intersects the line A and A1 dash is given as A1. Similarly, other points are marked. Now, the points are joined, which give the apparent, that is, inclined shape of the plane. Similarly, the orthographic projection can be drawn from the different planes. In the projection of planes, the first step involves the positioning of lamina in principal planes. We will discuss about the positioning for various plane surfaces in detail. Hexagonal plane A hexagon has six corners and six edges. If the problem is given as a hexagonal plane parallel to VP, then the hexagon can be drawn as shown. 
In this position, the edge or the side of the plane is parallel to the horizontal plane. When the side is perpendicular to HP, it can be drawn as shown. If one of the sides is inclined 45 degrees to the HP, it can be drawn as shown. When the hexagon is parallel to HP, the same can be obtained for all the cases, but the true shape is obtained from the top view. Pentagonal plane The pentagon has five edges or sides with five corners. In the problem, if it is given that the pentagon is perpendicular to VP and resting on one of its corners on HP, if the pentagon is resting on one of its corners and the surface is parallel to HP, it can be drawn as shown. When the pentagon is perpendicular to the HP, for the two cases, the pentagon can be drawn as shown. Square plane A square plane consists of four sides of equal length. A square lamina is parallel to HP and one of its sides is parallel to VP. When the side is 30 degree to the VP, it will be drawn as shown. When all the sides are equally inclined, that is 45 degree to VP, it will be drawn as shown. Similarly, when the square lamina is parallel to VP, the true shape is obtained from front view for all the three cases. Rhombus A rhombus is a quadrilateral, with all the sides equal in length. The rhombus has two diagonals bisecting each other at right angles. The rhombus with smaller diagonal is perpendicular to VP. The rhombus can be drawn as shown. The rhombus with smaller diagonal perpendicular to HP can be drawn as shown. Rectangular plane A rectangle has four sides, with two longer and shorter sides of equal length. If the problem is given that the rectangular lamina rests on the HP and is perpendicular to VP, then it can be drawn as shown. If the rectangular lamina rests on VP and is perpendicular to HP, then the diagram will be drawn as shown. Triangular plane A triangle has three edges and three corners. If all the three sides or edges are of equal length, then it is called an equilateral triangle. In a triangle, if the two sides of the triangle have equal length, then it is called as an isosceles triangle. If the problem is given that if the triangular lamina stands on one of its side on HP and the lamina is parallel to VP, it can be placed in the principal plane as shown. If it is given that the triangle is perpendicular to both the planes, then it can be drawn as shown. When the triangle is perpendicular to HP and its base is in the VP, it can be drawn as shown. Circle A circle has no corners and edges. If the circle is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP, it can be drawn as shown. When the circle is parallel to HP or its circumference on the HP, then the circle can be drawn as shown. Summary In this lesson, we have learnt about the different views of a plane. Orthographic projection of a plane. Positioning of square, rectangle, circle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon and rhombus in the principal plane.